career threatening. Josh, rather than opting for surgery, decided the holistic approach, using acupuncture, good nutrition, stretching, and massage to get himself through a nearly year-long process of rehabilitation. He says he feels healthy, he looks good, and here he is, Josh the People's Warrior Berkman. Well, you see him coming out right there uh, with, of course, his brother uh, in his corner, and, and, and then, uh, you know, some of the guys in the Throwdown Training Center, and then, yeah, his dad, and you got it, that's Dee Wizzle, D. Darren Williams, coming out with Josh Berkman, being in his corner for this fight. Dee Will, Utah Jazz point guard, a guy who's, you know, a front runner for the All-Star game this year, and yeah, Josh Berkman is a showman, he really knows how to do it. No doubt about it, Josh Berkman, a lot of fans, a lot of people love this kid. This is his homecoming, this is his turf. Josh was the first real big fighter to make it from the state of Utah. He's back, he's ready to uh, blow up the scene. Josh Berkman plans on this being the only fight here back in the state of Utah, then back to the big leagues. Born and raised in Utah, probably the guy who set the tone we've seen now. I believe it's six fighters be picked up for the Ultimate Fighter or by the UFC out of Utah and Josh really led the charge. Obviously you have other UFC fighters that now reside in Utah, but he was the first one that was born and bred and kind of came out of the Utah MMA scene. You have Berkman, Melendez, Nick Rosperell, Demarcus Johnson, Yourself. Derek Downey, all those guys coming out of what we consider to be one of the, the biggest hot spots. And these two really represent the front runners. The guys who set the tone. Now, there was much made about does Melendez live in Berkman's shadow because Berkman has a little better career in the UFC, a little better earnings, a little longer stint. Well, we're gonna find out tonight which one is the better fighter. Well, which one really belongs, you know, that's the deal. I mean, this isn't a catchweight at 180 pounds, 180 pounds. But I'm Ladies telling you right now, Brandon Melendez looks bigger. Ladies he looks and gentlemen, stronger. It is I'm super excited about this. Let's take it inside tonight, to Tim Hughes and, and make the official announcement for this main fighters. event fight here. It could be said that every one of the fighters that steps inside the cage of throwdown aspires to do what both of these gentlemen have done in their careers. Both gained a name for themselves in the sport of mixed martial arts fighting right here at home in Utah. Both gained enough recognition to go and fight on the Ultimate Fighter television show. And both have now competed on the sport's biggest stage in the UFC. Tonight, they come home for Throwdown 5, homecoming. It's time for your main event. Introducing first, the fighter standing on my right, known as a prolific strider. His record standing 36 wins with just 10 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighed in at 179 and one half pounds. Training at elite performance. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Brandon the Murderer Melendez. His opponent tonight has competed 10 times in the UFC and once ranked as high as number seven in the world. A mixed martial artist with a professional record of 22 wins with seven losses at five feet 10 inches tall and 178 and one half pounds. Training with Throwdown Elite and calling Salt Lake City home. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Josh the People's Warrior, Bergman! This bout scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Dave Selyestead, your referee. All right, boys, we've been over the rules in the locker room already. I'm gonna go over the big ones again. Just make sure you stay off of the top, back of the head, neck, and spine, and keep your fingers out of the cage. Listen to me at all times, understand? Touch them up, let's have a good fight. All right, right here in Utah Utah Valley. Here it is. This is it. Your main event. I've got chills. I'm excited. This is going to decide who is the best to ever come out of the state of Utah. Is it Josh, the People's Warrior Berkman, or Brandon, the Murderer Melendez? We're going to find out right now. Johnny Ritchie, I'm torn between wanting this fight to end by a big killer knockout in the first and seeing these guys really put it on each other for three full rounds. This is going to be a phenomenal fight. Both of them looking lean and mean at 180 pounds. Right now, Brandon Melendez taking the center of the cage. 
Brandon Melendez, uh, these guys are going to take their time. They're going to pace each other. You know, that's one of the things that people thought these guys were going to come out and just lock horns and get after it. And Josh Berkman uh, is a smart fighter. You know, and Brandon Melendez knows, hey, I've got to stand. I've got to pace. I know. Oh, oh big head kick. And that one landed. You see Melendez offer a little. Yep, you got me with that one. But then he throws a combination and it lands as well. Nice flurry and a good body <laughs> kick landed. Up oh, on buddy, this thing is going to be fun. Already we've seen just a little bit of everything. Berkman traditional stance. Brandon Melendez is a southpaw. Brandon actually, when you look at them in comparison, looking a little bigger coming into this fight. He weighed in one pound heavier. Brandon Melendez. Uh, Brandon, Josh Berkman landing that inside leg kick, really slapping the leg out from underneath Brandon. But Brandon doing a pretty good job of, 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 of recuperating from it once it's done. Josh, obviously a big fan favorite here in Utah. You can't go anywhere without people saying, oh, you're a fighter? Do you know Josh Berkman? <laughs> That's the measure of who you are as a fighter, is how close you are to Josh Berkman. Well, look, I tell you what, Brandon's not doing a, a bad job in here. He's landing some shots. Every time Josh rushes in, Brandon uh, 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 settles him back with a couple strikes, so. And Brandon still take, oh! Brandon Melendez is rocked in the punch. We see Berkman really pouring it on here with some body strikes. Berkman puts him against the fence and then hits him with a big elbow, big elbow! He has Brandon Melendez hurt. Brandon Melendez pushes up against the fence, but this is where Brandon wants to be. Brandon needs to shake those cobwebs off. Now let Josh get to the side. Josh Berkman, once again, a phenomenal wrestler in high school, moved on, uh, could have wrestled in college, but decided to play football instead, and then gave up football to become a fighter. Said, I want to become a fighter, and this is where he's at right now. Once again, fought on the biggest stage in the world in the UFC. Same with Brandon Melendez. Dave Sully said, looking real close to make sure that there's no fingers inside of the fence. Brandon, nice right there. Brandon needs to step, take a step back right here and compose himself. Shake those cobwebs off. Take, you know, don't rush in anything too quick right now, Brandon. Well, Johnny, I mean, you hit on it. Josh is really a phenomenal athlete. He was all state in baseball, wrestling, football. He was a scholarship athlete for wrestling, presumably, and football is the one he, that he chose. And uh, he's a guy whose athleticism really has carried him very far in the sport. Brandon Melendez, although he didn't necessarily compete as much in those traditional sports, still a prime athlete, a very tough guy, and he loves to fight. You no, know, that's and that. There's no doubt about this. And Brandon, Josh Bergman, we've, I've never seen in trouble in any of his fights on the biggest stage against guys like Carl Parisian and John Fitch. He never looked in trouble. It always it went to a decision. I've never seen him get cloudy or dazed or almost knocked out. And I've seen him eat some really big shots. And right here, you know, you see Brandon Melendez throwing every shot with that intention, and he's landed a couple. And Josh just uh, shook it off. Well, Josh you know, lost a, a controversial decision to Mike Swick, who just recently fought for the number one contender uh, position in the 170-pound division in the UFC. You saw him lose some uh, some pretty fantastic. Wow, big combo. He got in there. Nice combo by Melendez. And Josh Berkman reeling. Both these guys already showing some pretty supreme chin. They came into this fight knowing they were going to have to take a lot of punishment to give some. Well, I'm, uh, this has been fun because I don't think either one of these guys wants to go to the ground. They want to stand up and bang. That's what they talked about when we had them, you know, on the Rock Roll Action Sports Report radio show. These guys talked about standing and banging and really deciding who the best is on their feet in this fight. You know, Johnny, we heard a little bit of trash talk coming from each guy, a little bit of I don't care about this guy. I don't think he's much. A lot of respect being shown in the actual fight. They know the other guy, each opponent has a lot of power, and they've taken some. Oh! And just as we see that, there is the fight. Josh Berkman knocks out Brandon Melendez. 